So here we are, we're trying to find out about research areas based on interest. We have identified based on your profile, based on our conversation, that your interest is on um, workplace psychology or let me put it this way, work and health psychology or health and work productivity, health and productivity management. All these courses from my finding all fall under the category of industrial or organizational program psychology. So what did I do? I just simply came to Google and typed researchers in Canadian universities working on occupational psychology. As you can see, I repeat, I simply came to Google and typed researchers in Canadian universities working on occupational psychology. All right. So that way I am searching based on interests. And because I know what I'm looking for, I, it made it very easy for me to just come down and begin to see, you know, information on different institutions that have advisors or researchers working on that very research area that I'm interested in. And so I was able to find University of, um, the very first one I saw okay all right let me impute it again so the first one is from the university of western ontario okay so here is western ontario and then we check this is industrial organization now program so I kept on scrolling and i'm trying to find very specific information i want to know about their funding I want to know about the advisors and the deadlines, okay? Funding, deadline, and admission requirements. So I went from there to program information, all right? I went to program information. Here I have what the program is about. If I want to check out uh, the program requirements, so I'm here now. I'm trying to check program requirements. Okay, so these are the program. This is a page that takes me to the program requirements. And then I want to see um, information on funding, awards, and scholarships. So let's go here quickly. So we're checking awards and scholarships, internal donors, external donors. All right. And um, what else? We want to see. Well, we, we need more information, no doubt. And um, let's go to course uh, program information. Let, before we do that, let's look at future students. What's in it for future students? So this is a message from the grad chair to so future students. So here, now because I came to future students or information for future students, this page takes me to funding, all right? I'm so excited because funding is what I want to hear about. I want to see whether they have funding or not. And so here I find guaranteed funding. Guaranteed funding. The Department of Psychology offers generous funding packages which currently exceed the cost of tuition. Graduate students have, you know, they get to get funded for two years for MA and four years for PhD. That is their funding packages in these fundings come in form of research scholarship or teaching assistantships and so on and on and on and on. I, I'll say that I've been able to find what I'm looking for. So the next important information is key dates. Okay, let's check the key dates. Key dates, say we're looking at deadlines now. Application for psychology program open, always opens around October. All right. So that means that we can, you can pitch or begin to establish contact or reach out to this school based on what we have seen here. Let's check what they have for international students. Okay. Um, so you see there are different links that will take you to the other pages. And um, in the, my next course, I'm going to show you how to navigate through school's website and get fast answers or fast, you know, responses or fast um, processes that would help you determine whether the program has funding or not this is very very practical 
I'm sure that you can see this yourself. There is nothing hidden. So in case you want to find out about um, their contacts, you know, you can just click on contact. It takes you to where you have you get to you see information on who the graduate program advisor is. There is a program uh, advisor, a program assistant, and there is a chair. So you see, if you're making primary or initial contact, two people are supposed to be your primary contact here. You're going to be reaching out to the graduate program advisor. Even, yes, you're going to reach out to the graduate program advisor and the uh, graduate chair. Most likely, when you're writing your email, you have to copy the other person. All right, you're gonna write to the graduate chair and copy the graduate program advisor. I hope that makes sense. So, I hope this has been helpful. And um, let's move on to the next part of the of this module. See you on the other side. Thank you.